I cannot believe that it has been so long since we've had an episode of the Campfire Chronicles. Well, I'll tell you what, that changes right now. So to start off, we have to talk about good old moose. Ah, yes. No adventure is complete without an old army truck. I've been out here today doing some filming. Let me tell you what, the green machine's doing great. She's absolutely covered in pollen though. And my sinuses going crazy. I mean, look at that pollen. Tell ya, on top of this mountain, it's not time to mow yet, but it's close. Go down a couple hundred feet, oh yeah, it's on. Check out that fire, everybody. It's perfect. It looks like I'm burning a jug of kerosene in there, but I promise you, I'm not. For this episode, I am testing out a new piece of gear. Check this thing out, everyone. It says, get out, stay out, Canada. This is a bushcraft stove. I received this some months back. Haven't had time really to take much of a look at it, but that changes right now. As you all could see, this is a stainless steel stove. Very heavy duty, very substantial. Let's crack into this thing. So the legs fold out like that, and that goes into place. That's pretty neat. So this is what it looks like all set up. So you have multiple tiers here for cooking, boiling, and so on. Okay. So as you can see there, it sits right over the top of your fire pit. So the plan for tonight is pretty simple. Make coffee, have a discussion with you all, and then basically head back to the house. Pretty short and sweet. For the next Campfire Chronicle episode, I will have a guest, and we will be having dinner. This is a sweet spot right here. This is awesome. I have the cool breeze coming up from behind me, the warm fire in front of me, beautiful sky, perfect. Absolutely perfect. So everyone, take a moment here, pause the video, and comment down below and share one thing that is new with you. Maybe it's a new piece of gear, maybe it's an adventure that you've been on, but share something about your life with everybody else. I think that's one of the coolest aspects to the channel. Everybody is freely able to share their adventures, their thoughts on gear, and so on. It's a fantastic community, and I really do have to say thank you to you all for making it that way. I've talked with other YouTube channels, and they get so much hate, so much trolling. Banter between the viewers is offensive to many, but that's not the case here with the Outdoor Gear Review. I have no idea what is different, but something is, and I do appreciate you all for that. My water is ready. So, cheers everybody, cheers. Some good coffee before the long trek home. As for what I've been doing today, I've been shooting numerous videos. I shot a 2019 episode in regards to moose, talking about the issues I've had with it, the things I like, the things I don't like, and so on. I did this episode primarily for those who are interested in purchasing an old army truck. These are super cool, but they're definitely not made for everybody, that's for sure. I also shot an episode talking about why I love going into the outdoors, why I love sitting around a fire like this. And also, I shot an episode about the Alps Mountaineering Lynx One Person Tent. I don't know what it is about that tent, but I've received more requests to review it than any other tent or product ever before. I'm pretty much done with the stove here. I wanted basically to get this on the fire, open it up, see what it's like before moving on to my testing of this product. You guys will definitely see more of this 
into the future. As far as what is new with me, there's quite a bit actually. My daughter, she's coming home for a couple of days. She will be here next Monday, and that's because she needs to get a license and she needs to buy a car. She has been stationed and there is no public transportation at the base she is at. So she needs to come down here, get a license, get a car, drive back. Hopefully everything will work out. She has three days to get this done. So there's definitely no time to waste for this situation. I sure am proud of that kid. I mean, she's grown up serving the country. She's in the Navy doing all sorts of crazy stuff. At 18 years old, I was just graduating school. Susan was pregnant with Madison. Whew. Gosh, guys, where is time going? You know what I mean? So Madison comes down, gets her license, buys a car. Then Susan and I are going to drive her to There's something about our daughter coming down here to North Carolina, getting her license, buying a car, and then driving back all by herself that doesn't seem right. <laughs> Something about that, I don't know what it is, doesn't seem like the responsible thing to do. I'm not saying she's a bad driver or anything like that, and I'm not being a helicopter dad because that's the last thing that I am. But she's young, and she's never driven that far that long. She simply doesn't have any road sense to her. Not yet. One day she will have those instincts, but right now, they're not fully developed yet. So that is going to be quite the adventure, and I will be filming that. Why not make an episode out of it? Here with the Outdoor Gear Review, you guys are going to notice and may have noticed that there are more episodes. I'm doing the same amount of reviews, but I'm doing more vloggy sort of episodes, kind of like this. I'm going to be answering questions that I receive a lot of in video form. So if you have any questions about gear, anything that I can answer within five minutes, short and sweet, send me those questions and I'll make sure to do a video for you. The channel has been simply blowing up. We are right at 200,000 subscribers and that's all because of you. You guys are amazing. Yeah, it takes a lot of time and money to do this channel, but I love it. I really do. For me personally, it's not about making money. I mean, money's good, of course, it's paying the bills, but I really do like helping people out. For me, I have found a way to be not only creative, but helpful at the same time. And I have this theory, everybody. For humans to be happy, they have to be creative. When you're stuck in a cubicle, you're punching numbers, you're not being creative, and I don't think you're going to be a happy person. It's interesting, this day and age, we have more than we've ever had before. Life is easier than ever before, and yet humanity as a whole is more unhappy than ever. People are spending less time outside, less exploring. We have so much crap that means absolutely nothing in our lives, and so little that does. So, at least for myself, this is an avenue where I can create, I can share, I can help people. It's just awesome. So, I really do appreciate every single one of you. I can't say that enough. I probably don't say that enough, and that's why I've mentioned this numerous times already, is because I am grateful. I am thankful for you all. I never take any viewer for granted. So, I do appreciate it, everybody. I really do. I've had numerous people asking about the issues that I've had with YouTube in regards to the Amazon Basics 55 liter piece of crap that I destroyed with my shotgun. As you all know, YouTube and Google have been giving me a very hard time in regards to that episode. And basically it just boils down to there's a firearm in it. Plain and simple, YouTube, Google does not like that. So the video has not received any monetization, no ads, nothing like that. I have contacted them. I spoke with numerous people who were very nice, of course. Basically it ended with them saying, yes, there's nothing in your video that is against our policies, but we cannot tell you why we cannot monetize it. That is basically how the emails ended. I was told that they cannot assist me, they cannot tell me directly why the video is not eligible for ads. I think we all know the reason why. Firearms are a very small aspect to the channel, so it's really not that big of a deal for me. But I do feel sorry for the other channels who focus on firearms, target practicing, and so on, because their days are numbered, everybody knows it. I'm not going to back down. 
I'm going to continue with the videos. Whenever I see the need to destroy a piece of crap, I'm going to do it. And I'll just do it for free. I'll do it for you all. We'll have fun with it. I do want to say a big thank you to all the patrons. You guys are awesome. I really do appreciate you guys helping support the channel. Because with the channel here, I know I, I mention this all the time, 100% agenda free. I'm not going to try to sell you guys something. I don't care if you ever buy anything. And there is one thing I want to talk about in regards to that. When you have companies sending products out to influencers, that is what we are referred to as influencers. I don't like that, but everybody writes me saying, hey, influencer, blah, blah, blah. They send those products out to people who essentially will give them a good review. There's very few companies out there who want honest feedback on their products. So when you have someone who continuously reviews specific products, not always, but sometimes, it's because those companies know that person's going to basically give them a glowing review. If a company sees that a YouTuber is giving products a real review, they're less likely to actually send them a product because they don't want the bad feedback if there is bad feedback to be given. Here with the channel, Susan and I, we really are doing something different. I will never apologize for telling the truth and being honest about a product. And it's funny, I actually had one viewer who gave me a ton of crap over my review of the Outdoor Vitals jacket. You may remember that review. The jacket had issues. I stated the issues. I wish the company will. Hopefully they make some changes. Well, that guy, I'm not going to mention the name, he absolutely hated that video because I was honest. How bizarre is that? He stated that there was a chance I was going to put the company out of business for telling the truth about their product that they sent me to review. Some people are truly bizarre. <laughs> it's really funny actually. To be upfront and honest, I'm going to tell the truth on every product that I review. I'm not going to hold back and we'll state it how it is and then you all can make your own decision. You know, it's funny talking about reviewing products. Oftentimes with my reviews, I don't really focus on the cost all that much. I don't state if it's a pro or a con, and that's because everybody has a different idea of what's cheap, what's expensive. I really leave that up to you all. You all get to decide what's inexpensive and what's expensive. That is why I don't really talk about the price all that much, because it's not really up to me to tell you that something's expensive or not. Now, of course, if a product is extreme, like extremely expensive or extremely cheap, I do mention that. Outside of that, I let you all decide and comment, share your thoughts, because that's what the channel is all about. I'm not trying to influence anyone. I don't like the term influencer because that's the last thing that I'm ever going to do with this channel. I simply state the facts as I see them, and that's it. That's it. Talking about good old moose here, the 1986 military truck M1008. I noticed a couple of weeks back that this thing was leaking oil. I had to get some oil lines replaced. Pretty small repair. I also had to get some brake work done, and that was extremely expensive. This truck has drum brakes. I needed a full package because those brakes were getting pretty bad. I knew when I bought the truck that it needed to get some brakes on it. I put it off as long as I could. Super expensive, super expensive fix, let me tell you. Outside of that, the truck is running fantastic. It's a great truck. I do have a signal bulb out. I will have to fix that tomorrow. I'm not all that much of a mechanic, to be honest with you. It's just not my forte. The outdoors, survival, that I'm a pro at. Trucks, cars, the mechanical stuff, that's just not me. I wanna give you guys some insight into the next trip. Depending on when I put this up, Susan and I have the Water Crossing Lost Community episode. 32 creek crossings, super freaking hot. <laughs> that was a great trip. But the trip after that, that is going to be a Lost on the Trail survival episode. We have the viewer who sent in the survival pocket shelter. Well, I'm going to put that product to the test. It's going to be probably more fun for you all than it will be for me because 
hey, I gotta test this thing out the right way. So, that is coming up very soon. That is going to be an interesting test of that product. I am going to use it exactly as the makers state to. So stay tuned, that is coming up. After that, there will be a car camp episode with Susan involving either Moose or the Forerunner, depending on where we go. I don't, I don't know yet, we haven't thought that far ahead. We have the Four Loop Pass later on this year once the snow melts. They've had unbelievable amounts of snow, lots of avalanches, so things are opening up late. We want to make sure that the snow melts and that the water crossings aren't insane because Susan's not going to like that, and that's okay, completely understandable. So all of that's coming up and more here with the channel. I will be doing some bushcraft episodes I really want to do one soon, to be honest with you. I, I have a hankering to get out, play in the woods, do some teaching, show off some skills. That is coming up very soon, everyone. For this episode of the Campfire Chronicles, that's it. That's it. If you have a question for me, make sure to email me. I answer every single question through email. If for some reason that I don't, that means I didn't get your message because I answer them all. I answer questions on Facebook, but I have to be honest, I'm slow on there. i rather answer emails because I don't do Facebook very much. I don't do Instagram or anything like that. If you send a message on Instagram, it's a high probability that I won't even see it. Because like the notification thing, it doesn't tell you when you have a message unless you go look. So I oftentimes forget to even look because you have to like approve a message to being sent to you. I don't know. I really don't even get it. I'm too old for Instagram. I don't even care about it, but whatever. So, yeah, if you want to get in touch with me, email me. It's that simple. Make sure to comment down below, share your thoughts about this episode. If you want to see more Campfire Chronicles, you can even comment down below and state who you want to see as my guest in the next episode. You can even state what you want me to cook, what you want me to make. That sounds interesting. All right, everybody. Take care, strength and honor. I have 50 miles to drive once this fire goes down a little bit. I'll see you guys around. Strength and honor, see ya.